Okay, guys, we're live, so we want to welcome everyone in uh, on Facebook, and we'll uh, allow just a few seconds for folks uh, from Twitter to head on over. Uh, we're joined now by the head coaches at uh, Madison Academic at Southside High School, Coach Simpson and Coach Fuller. Uh, thanks for taking a moment, guys, to uh, talk some basketball and just kind of preview uh, really what's expected to be a, a great week for uh, the Jackson Madison County School System. Um, Coach Simpson, uh, divine intervention, you've punched your ticket. Uh, you get to skip the sectional round. Uh, so first, uh, just let's get your comments, Coach Simpson. Explain to people what happened and how, uh, you know, you, you made it to state. Uh, yeah, I try not to be too long-winded, uh, as my wife would tell you I am, but um, it kind of starts with the Memphis City Schools not playing this year. Um, so with, with those schools not playing, it ended up being only three teams uh, in Memphis in that eighth region of Class A that played at all. Um, it was Memphis Business Academy, uh, MACE, uh, Memphis Academy of Science and Engineering, and MOZ, uh, Memphis Academy of Health Sciences. Um, so, And the reason those three teams played is because they were charter schools, and so they didn't have to go by the school board policy of not playing. Um, so when they decided to play, um, they had a district tournament with those three teams, and then they had the region tournament, but only two played in the region. Uh, so um, one of those schools dropped out, NBA kind of dropped out of the region. So you had ended up with two schools. Well, in that region game, Mace beat Moz, and then they the TWSAA, uh that was last Tuesday on – Thursday, they realized that he was ineligible, that they had a player that was ineligible, um, a, a kid that had played for a different school last year. Um, and because the charter schools aren't zoned, uh, it created some eligibility issues. So the team that was the runner up was declared the region champs. And then there was no other team in the region um, to play, which is why we, you know, kind of snuck our way in through the back door. So, you know, I, I say that, but also, you know, we had to uh, win region to get that opportunity. Um, and so, you know, some of the players were obviously excited, but a little disappointed not to be able to host one last home game at the Omen Arena for our fans uh, tomorrow night. So, but we're obviously thrilled about the opportunity. Now, Coach Simpson, this will be your first trip to the state tournament as a head coach, correct? Yes, sir. Uh, on the yep. flip side, uh, Demond Fuller, uh, your Southside Hawks are uh, one win away from punching their ticket to the, the state tournament. Uh, how many times have you, as head coach, uh, Coach Fuller, been to sub-state or sectional round? Uh, this is my um, sixth time um, going to a sub-state, and I'd just like to say to Coach Simpson, if you want to swap out and let me get the ticket, they can, they can play at the home in the arena tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Furl, if you would, uh, tell us about your team. We know you're 22-1. Uh, and one. Uh, You got through district play undefeated. You're taking on a Fayetteware team. Uh, tell us about the Wildcats. Uh, what do you know about your opponent for this next game? Uh, well, you know, anybody's just playing and at this time. They're a pretty good team. Um, they have a great size, great speed, uh, have great coaches. Uh, you know, Fayetteware always have great athletes. So uh, we just hope that we can get in there tomorrow night and get a win. Coach Simpson, before we came on live, I was I was asking you, you know, uh, this is your first opportunity, your first chance, uh, your first appearance in the state tournament. So I would imagine, I mean, you kind of go through your roller decks and you, you call up your, your former coaches and peers to kind of glean some uh, advice uh, going into the state tournament. Uh, how are you approaching this? Yeah, you know, you want to lean on the people that you that, that you have around you that you trust. I'll, I'll talk to Coach Mon some over this next uh, week and a half. Hopefully, you know, he'll be coming up to Murfreesboro with us. Um, hopefully they'll get that win tomorrow night. We'll be cheering them on. Um, and so I'll lean on guys like Coach Mon and, and um, you know, uh, the athletic director at Humboldt has been extremely helpful. Coach Yarbrough um, has already sat down with me and been really helpful since they've gone through that, if, you know, several times. Uh, with their success um, in the past. And so just having some people like that that are willing to help, it's, it's great to be a part of a, a, a team of, of coaches in, the, in Jackson and the surrounding area 
that are supportive of each other. And, and another, you know, good friend of mine coaches at West Carroll. I'm hoping he'll be making the trip to Murfreesboro after their game tomorrow night as well. So, um, which I believe it'll be his first time. So hopefully we can, we can figure it out together. Southside plays in class double a Madison plays in class a, so there is no conflict. Uh, Coach Fuller, I'm sure uh, you'll be helpful and pour some information into the rookie coach uh, making his, right. his first appearance. What uh, what would you tell him? Um, maybe he needs to think about that. Maybe he's maybe a rookie coach wouldn't think about. What type of advice will you give? Um, don't change anything. Um, just you know, make adjustments um, as far as who you're playing, and um, don't change it because what what you have been doing got you to that point and uh, you don't want to go up there doing something different and it takes away from what you, what got you what got you there coach fuller uh you guys played madison early on uh tell us what you remember about that team and uh, tell us about as once an opposing coach what they do well um to be a single a school um they they play on a level of a double a or triple a because they have size they have speed um they have a whole lot of experience um, you know, you can look at some teams and see that they, they do they have that grit and they have the grit and they have all the things that they need necessary to uh, basically do whatever they need to do to win a state championship. Well, it looks like our uh, our host got kicked off. <laughs> we can do it. We, we got it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, oh, there you go. <laughs> I was, did my audio drop out? You dropped out. It be through everything. <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, he told us about the Mustang. So, Coach Simpson, uh, you guys played the Hawks. I guess it was the first game of the season. Uh, tell us about Southside. What do they do well, and uh, what will be the keys of, to victory for Southside? Yeah, I mean, you know, playing them the first game of the year was was uh, was really good for us because they're they're so they're so talented and and they have you know great athletes. They're well coached. They know what they want to do. Um, and then it's, it's really hard to do to get them to play at a different pace or get them to do something they're not comfortable with. Um, and they got a lot of really good players. Um, and so it was good for us to, to play against them that first game of the year uh, to kind of humble us and make sure that, you know, to see how much we needed to improve to get where we wanted to go. And we had a lot of young guys that made a lot of mistakes and they forced you into making mistakes. Um, and so, you know, as they force teams to be uncomfortable, um, they're going to have a lot of success. Um, and, and, you know, and they, they're really good at doing that. They're really good at, at, at keeping their minds level headed and, and forcing other teams to speed up and forcing other teams to do things that they don't want to do. I know in order to go undefeated in any league, you got to be lucky and you got to be good. Uh, Coach Fuller, uh, how good were you? How much luck do you have this year? Kind of tell us, you know, how do you get this far in the year, go uh, undefeated in district play, and then uh, you have 22 wins? Uh, I mean, how do you do that? Uh, a lot of Jesus. Um, you got to have a lot of faith. Uh, uh, we counted all, all, all our success to, to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because, you know, we've been blessed to have two years of kids um, you know, little knickknack injuries, you know, those things. You you gotta stay healthy to um to go up and to have a deep run. And um, the good Lord done blessed us to have that. Um and taking the um the initiative, our guys, you know, we, we try to live up to the expectation that was set by AJ and Jalen and um those guys uh, set a presence at the school and, and every year those kids have to live up to the expectation whether they want to or whether they don't. Um, once they get started, they have no other choice. Coach Simpson, you guys are up to 24, 25 wins now. Uh, 25 and two. Yes, sir. Yeah. You've been lucky. You've been good. Uh, what's been the, what's been the key to your success? Yeah, just, you know, and I agree with coach Mon. you know, having, a, having your trust in something other than yourself is really important. And, and we rely on our faith and, and we also rely you know, on, on supporting each other and, and the love that we share for one another and, and playing for each other. Um, and, and I think it's just really important to just stay disciplined and, and, and control the things you can control and let go of the things you can't control. Uh, we talk about that all the time. And, 
and and just being able to stay disciplined in every whatever I'm doing right now, I'm going to do it to the best of my ability, whether that's uh, whatever drill we're doing in practice or whether whether whatever job it is in my in that game, whatever my role is, um, whether that's, you know, sitting down and playing defense on this guy, being at help side, rotating to the weak side, whatever it is, you know, just doing whatever is right in front of you, being great at that. Um, and just staying disciplined in those areas. And, and like Coach Mon said earlier, don't forget what got you where you are. Um, you know, be grateful and, and stay focused on those things that, that help you. I don't know how well you can see the bracket that I have pulled up, uh, but if I'm reading this correctly, uh, you guys are going to face the winner of the, was it Clay County Cascade matchup? Yes, sir. So, uh, Will you watch that game live on the internet? You know, will you be there? How much attention will you give to that game? Uh, I'm going to give a lot of attention to that game. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, I, I was really wanting to go see Coach Mon tomorrow night, and I know he said I, he's, he, I'm sure he could get me in, but the opportunity, you know, to go see who we're playing um, is not something coaches get to do. And so um, I'm actually my father in law. Um, coached football at Cascade for many years. And so he was uh, in my – two of my brother-in-laws played football and, and basketball for Cascade. So we have some connections there. Um, and then I'll, I'm actually going with my father-in-law to that game tomorrow night. Um, Clay County is the favorite to win, but Cascade's tough and, 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 and plays hard. And so it'll be a good game. And, and Clay County's got a, a, a really good player, Mr. Basketball finalist. Um, six five shoots it well. Really good ball handler. Good passer. Great all around game. And there's a reason he's a Mr. Basketball finalist. And so, uh, so it'll be fun to get down there. It's a long drive, um, and so it will. Uh, you know, I'll be getting back really late, uh, getting ready for school early on Tuesday morning. But uh, just to get to put lay eyes on him in person, I'm, I'm grateful for that opportunity as we get ready. Coach Fuller, I'm going to uh, pull up this other bracket. Um, let's see. I want to make sure this is the right bracket. Yeah. Okay. So Southside and Fayette Ware. Um, and I don't know if you're a superstitious guy or not. I mean, is it okay? I mean, will you will you give any uh, attention to this bracket, or are you this kind of guy that says, "Ah, I just want to worry about Fayette Ware." I just want to worry about Fayette Ware. That's that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> That's so lot, uh, tell me, uh, how how well do these Southside Hawks, you know, the 2021 squad, how well do they know Fayetteware? What's been your experience with them in recent years? Always a tough matchup. Um, you know, the kids got social media and they play AAU with some of these guys. So um, they pretty much know a lot about them. But, um, you know, Fayetteware have always have had a great team. Um, and uh, I just know that they're going to bring the uh, – the best, the best game to to, to Southside tomorrow night, and uh, we just hope that uh, we can get out of there with a win. Okay, uh, as we look to wrap this up, uh, Coach Fuller, uh, tell me about your team. You can be as specific as you want to be. I don't, maybe you want to spend this time to, uh, you know, talk about the support you guys have had, uh, because uh, you know, although there was struggles with COVID, uh, the community I know uh, still came out to support you guys. So uh, just. Uh, I'll give you a few minutes here just to uh, talk about your team and, and the South Jackson community. Um, you know, we, we counted all joy uh, for the success that we're having our South. Uh, um, Coach McNeil and Coach Carmen and the girls uh, had a great run, and um, uh, we're just trying to do great things our South. Um, um, the program that, that we try to implement is something that the kids can always look back and say that they was a part of something bigger than just basketball. Uh, we got a great group, a group of kids. Um, we got guys with 3.5s and, and things of that nature and academically and, and love the classroom. And, and they're great kids, great, great kids that want to win, want to be successful. And uh, I tell my guys all the time, it's just hard to be successful on the floor and don't be successful off the floor. Um, you got to do both. And if you do both of them hand in hand, um, you know, sky's the limit. Uh, they have no ceiling to, to the things that they can do. Um, our guys really, really appreciate the, the fan support, um, our school administration, everything that, 
that we have going on in the South Side is just a great thing. And uh, we're just trying to keep uh, the focus of what we do uh, on a positive, uh, positive note. Uh, I know you see the media so much negativity in athletics, and uh, we just pray for that uh, things are going as well as they are at Southside. Thanks, Coach. Uh, so, Coach Simpson, we'll give you the same opportunity. And I'll say this: uh, I had the opportunity uh, yesterday to participate in the uh, open enrollment and interview process at JCM Early College High. Never done that before. Uh, it was an awesome experience. Uh, I know JCM Early College High is a special place. Uh, yourself, uh, many of your seniors, uh, JCM Early College High uh, teachers and uh, student athletes connected with Madison this year. Uh, as JCM comes back online, that will look a little different. Uh, so I know at least for uh, a lot of the supporters, you know, uh, there is a, a really a strong desire uh, for this team to go as far as they can because uh, the dynamic of the school will change this, this uh, co-op, the connection. Uh, so as you think about uh, this opportunity you have in front of you and the fact that, you know, things will look a little different uh, down the road as the co-ops change, uh, just talk about, uh, how special this opportunity that you have in front of you is for those reasons. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 been a great four years to be a part of this program, you know, and to be a part of the growth of, of you know, what Madison basketball has meant. And we've got great fans that, that love our guys. And, and, you know, we talk a lot about being family and, you know, we've had great support from the alums over the last few years coming back and, and being a part of uh, of what we, we have now. Um, and, and, you know, I teach at JCM Early College High, and so I love, you know, that school, and I love Madison, and I love the connections that we've made and the, gr the group of men, as you see in the picture, the group of men that have come together and, and just the days in, days out of, of hard work and, and you know, from – workouts on the sand pit, to uh, workouts at, in church gyms, to weight rooms, you know, to practicing in the omen, whatever, you know, wherever we can get and play and, and work on our skills and work on our game and be together is, you know, it's, it's been a great time. And I know it, it's, it's changing and, and, um, and, it, and that's difficult. Uh, but as I'd said earlier, you know, we, you control the things you can control and, and you've got to let go of the things you can't control. Um, and so we're just trying to make the most of our opportunity, um, love on each other while we're together. Uh, you know, we've got three stellar seniors, both on and off the court. Um, they're all graduating with their associate's degree from Jackson State, you know, all uh, 3.5s and above and, you know, great people and uh, great basketball players. Um, and so just just being a part of it is fantastic. Um, you know, we're, we're trying to stay in the moment and, and taste, you know, stay focused on getting better every day uh, and giving ourselves the best opportunity we can to have success uh, in whatever we're doing. So, well, uh, on behalf of the community, I just want to thank you guys for the programs you've built uh, and you've coached up quality young men uh, reading their comments in the newspaper. They respond the right way. Uh, Brandon Macklin was in the interview about uh, Mr. Basketball or uh, not being in that conversation, and uh, he responded with character. That's something that's taught. I realize that. And so, um, and then getting to meet Walter Peggs, um, uh, you know, pr pr previously uh, only teaching at Southside. I don't. I didn't get to meet a lot of the, uh, the students, but uh, I'm reminded of uh, the Peggs, uh, not Peggs, but uh, Pat. Uh, the young man who graduated last year uh, working with the Jackson Madison County Sports Hall of Fame, uh, passing out some scholarships and meeting that young man. Uh, we've got some incredible kids in the school district and you guys are not only their coaches, but their mentors. And so we appreciate uh, the job you guys do. And I know a lot of times we only get to see what happens on the court, but it's evident when you get to interview these kids and you see them out in the community, it's evident that uh, there are some coaching and learning uh, going on outside of the, the gym. So uh, we appreciate that. Uh, we thank go you. Your next, go go win your next game. Yeah. Do, do it for the brand. Do it for the brand. Do, you can do it for Hawk Nation. You can do it for the Mustangs. 
But make sure you do it for the district, guys. Thank you for your time, and and uh, we will uh, keep an eye on your progress. We'd like to thank Dr. King and every and the administration over there, the school board, and we'd like to thank you. You do a great job, Coach. I uh, always have. Um, uh, we we this is new. I, I'm loving it. You know, it's, it's new. You know, but I I, I think uh, we thank you. I'm, I can share. I can speak for Coach too. We we appreciate all you do. Thanks, guys. Yep, absolutely appreciate you having us. Go win the next one. Good luck. God bless. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.